friends. Hi, friends. So today we did an apple cider vinegar clarifying rinse um, and then washed it. And these are our results. If you want to see how we got it, keep on watching. You have so much hair. I do, huh? Hi, friends. So what we're going to do today is her hair. Um, so her hair is low porosity, so it is prone to build up. I think that is why, like, if, and again, I'll do a close up in a little bit, but like the bottoms are like a three B, three C, and some of the top is, um, is like a three A, and I think that part of it is how it's drying because she lays on it at night. Uh, but I'm gonna try to clarify it and see if I can get some of that life back to the roots. Mama. So, Mama, Mama. but oh, hi, hi. So I filled this water bottle up with some water just from the tap. So the next thing we're gonna What's do, the, tap? Uh, the sink. So now we're gonna take apple cider vinegar with the mother, and that's like all the stuff that you'll see at the bottom. You know, I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Okay, so it includes the mother, a cloudy, beneficial byproduct of fermentation. So I wonder if that's like, I drink kombucha, which has, is fermented tea, and so that has pre and probiotics in it, so I wonder if that's what it is. I don't know. Anyways, I heard it's a really good rinse. Um, I used to have a Cantu apple cider vinegar rinse that I would use on her hair, and I haven't in a long time. What I want to start doing is really taking a really hard look at the products that I use in her hair and get rid of silicones, uh, parabens, sulfates is what I was looking for. Silicone, sulfates, parabens, you know, any sort of drying alcohol. But I think that some of the silicones just aren't her hair and I think that because she's low porosity then it makes it even harder for any sort of moisture to get in. So I'm really gonna cut out silicones and see if I can, if that makes a difference, um, you know, I wanna get rid of sulfates because that's so, uh, such a strong chemical to use on her hair. And again, we don't, her hair's low porosity, so we don't wanna get rid of all of that um, good oil. So I'm just gonna start to be more conscious of you know, not just the product types and how thick it is and things like that, but also what's in the actual product and see if I can get, because I really, like, the bottom of her hair is so, like, has such a tight curl pattern, like, it's like, and then the top gets so uh, flat, and so I think that I'm going to try to look at the ingredients and see if that makes a difference. Filled it up with some water, now I'm just going to put some apple cider vinegar in here very carefully. And I think it's like a he it's like a one to one ratio. Ew. I use this a lot in cooking, so that's why I have like such a huge bottle of it. So it might be more than a one to one ratio, but whatever. Okay. So that's how full it is. I'm just gonna shake it up. Oops. So now I'm just gonna spray. I'm gonna start focusing by focusing on the scalp. Because again, that's where I think the buildup is. But in the products, if I've been, if they do have silicones and um, parabens in them, then it's gonna it's gonna coat her whole hair shaft. So eventually, I want to get everything. Part of the reason I thought about doing this is I watched um, a YouTube video by Mains by Mel. She's really good, really entertaining. She just did a really good video on getting volume that I'm going to try to take a couple of things from. Uh, but she clarifies, and she said she clarifies every three to four washes. So if I'm washing her hair once a week, that's like once a month to clarify it. Really get that build up. Um, and I, it's just when, when she, Ron was doing swim lessons, or last summer we had a... Uh, Pass to the pool, so we were in the pool a lot, and so I think I was like thinking about clarifying more then because I wanted to get the chlorine out of her hair, and I just haven't really thought about it much lately. And I feel like I just want to see is that going to make a difference in how her hair reacts? Um, and again, I'm taking silicones out because I think that that is really coating her hair and not 
and it's just sticking on there. And there's so many, there are some products that I have already that I love that I have found silicone then and it's so depressing. Especially the expensive ones. Like Miss Jessie's, I loved it, but I think the part of the reason I love it is because of the silicone and I think that it's coating her hair and doing more harm in the long run than good for just the day to day. So I'm just really getting in that scalp, um, brushing it down to make sure it's kind of breaking up anything that's on the, the shaft as a whole. So I haven't used that much. I might, you know, is it weird to store that? I'm experimenting with backgrounds. So we just got this one today. I finally have like a little bit of a studio area in my house that I'm using so I can, you know, be more consistent with it. You know, just if I'm feeling like I wanna, if I have an idea and I she's in a mood, then I can just set up and film. So I have some new lighting coming in tomorrow. So a little bit of a story time. And I'm experimenting with different equipment. So leave a comment in the description box below what you think of it. What, if you shoot videos, what do you use? What do you like? The other thing that I got, I'll show you in a little bit. I got a really cool shampoo brush. So I think this is kind of set in her hair for long enough. So the other thing that I heard, that I read uh, while doing some research on clarifying washes is since you're really clarifying and stripping everything from the hair, it's a perfect opportunity to deep condition. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're back. So this is how her hair ended up. Um, the scalp feels really clean, like really clean. It's really nice. We didn't get as much volume up top, but um, I think what we're gonna have to do so this, like, I was a little bit flatter when she first woke up. It's been, I don't know, like an hour, a little over an hour since she woke up. So it's been able to kind of like fall out of its tightness um, since last night. Um, the curls look really good. It's still a little bit flat up top, like there isn't, but like if you look at right here, the curl pattern does volume down place start up higher than it did last night. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of jojoba oil and kind of scrunch it out, fluff it up, get into those roots and see what we can get. I'm just separating some of these curls that clump together. So again, her roots feel really clean. Um, so I think that the apple cider vinegar rinse worked really well. Um, I'm still working on getting that curl pattern up closer to her scalp. Um, I think we might have to change our routine about doing it at night, especially on like the first day, because that's really where her hair learns like the curl pattern it's gonna have. It's hard to create it uh, after the fact. So. So yeah, so I think we might change up our deep condition routine, do it on like a Sunday morning, really let it air dry out all day Sunday so that um, her roots have that ability to get that curl. Um, but for the point of this video was all about the um, apple cider vinegar rinse. I really like it. I'm a big fan. I'll be doing it probably once a month now, see if we can um, continue th with this hair health and and go from there. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Right? Say so give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, put the thumbs down. Yep, we're all about the thumbs down. Um, and subscribe to our channel. Say so tell us what kind of videos we want to see. Tell us what videos we want to see.
person you want to see. Say bye. Bye. Not with your piggies. <laughs> That would be funny. Now you can't hold your hair up. Other hair. Should I cut it all off? No. Because your hair is beautiful. Thank you. Your hair is beautiful too. I'll put mousse in your hair. I love you. What? That's what I'm... So everybody knows, or not everybody. Not okay, yeah.